uh, touch the tennis uh, here and um, just uh, to let you know what I'm doing right now is to um, you know, we're gonna do a little fishing right now and I'm gonna be looking for the great Popo whale which if you know what I mean Popo I'm gonna go harvest the blubber of the stomach claw once I get a hold of you and then once I squeeze it enough I'm gonna pull that belt right off of you okay Mr. Popo Popo whale we're gonna um, go out in this vast ocean I'm sure it won't be hard to find because of your size and I don't time to talk anymore right now. I'm gonna go down now and uh, go look for you. And uh, if you're out there, here, here I come. Right now, for you fans, I don't want your fans to be disappointed. I didn't catch the Great Papa Whale, but I did get some inspiration again, like I said. And, and let's see here. This is the great tale of the Great Papa Whale. Put on my raincoat. I went out on my boat. My crew was very brave on a very great wave. But we headed back to the beach for the Papa Whale was out of reach. So my back is doing good by the way, right? Right? And your back's not gonna be good after June 13th. Papa Whale. Oh my god. <laughs> This is a poem about something really big. It's a sad truth. There's bugs on me. Look, that's a sad truth. With a giant pop pig. I cannot understand. I cannot relate. Is there anything good about being overweight? Maybe something good can come out of it. Just throw him on the grill. But he may not fit. It'll take hard work. Look at my work clothes here. It'll take hard work. It'll take some skill to build a big enough barbecue grill. Probably give me the splash. Not like a ton. It was a ton. But when I start that grill, he may try to run. Well, maybe that's why he ran away. Well, if he can run, if. He'll shake that belly. I'll grill him and serve him. Please pass the jelly. Now, Papa doesn't like. I keep calling him fat. He should be instead thanking me. Who pointing out that? I'm tired of Papa crying like baby Huey. I'm just telling the sad truth. The giant Papa pig. Cooey! Cooey! Uh, I was gonna yeah, really, grab a handful yeah. of his waistline and extract the cellulite and tear it out. Now, a push up. I'm gonna keep it very simple for you, Papo. You know, I know, you might, I don't know if you've ever done a push up. You may have seen them done, you may have seen someone else do it. But you go on the floor, you push down to the floor and up, right? And uh, it's part of the chest muscles, and that, you know, the results are this. You gotta, you gotta be able to flex the chest at any given moment. Any given moment, you can flex the chest. Enough about that, we'll go right into the next exercise, which is more important and is more neglected in your, in your body. Your uh, lack of physical shape is the sit up. The sit up is when you sit down and you sit up. Sit down and sit up. Very basic exercise. You, know, you can do it at home. You don't have to go buy expensive equipment. I know you can't afford it, but I just to let you know that under those layers and layers of fat, you have abdominal muscles there. And I promise me, I promise you they're there. Uh, just trust me on this. Now, before you even go through these uh, exercises, uh, at the same time, you probably should work on your diet. <laughs> Look at that coil! You give me that coil! I want that coil! Come on! I want that coil! I want that coil! I want that coil!